Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Plan World War II, World at War. Let's continue with the Axis side here in China territory. Still have to take their last capital. We've already taken two, but they still have one around here, so... I'm sure we'll be able to... Uh, blast our way through these last couple of forces oh, quickly. Okay, let's see. You're the full supply, so you're gonna go to ten. Uh, you as well. Six supply. Great. Let's declare war on Nepal, as I said before, with the Chinese. Uh, with the Japanese, not the Chinese, and uh, Nepal there. Yeah, let's. Great. Um, yeah, let's see if there's something out there. Uh, surely they're not going to be pushed away. Hmm. Obviously, did some damage to that. Let's see how the uh, shift of uh, forces here is going to impact the allied battle lines here. I might have an opportunity to take down these guys, but it doesn't look like it. I should have put these guys on the damage. Oh well, let's switch them up, attack again. Well, we'll see whether we can actually hold them off and take the city. For now, though, how far can you go? Down to seven. That's great. They're at seven strength, so reinforcing back up to ten seems to be the sensible thing to do here. Most of Japanese MPP is now being pushed into that region, but that's uh, that's fine. Up here, let's take that. Like I predicted, they didn't have any unit in there. It was almost without question. Okay, perfect. Mm, let's only take the city because I want to repair those. Not that it matters that much, but... I don't want any units from up there coming in there and then start harassing my forces. Excellent work here in this region. Once again, let's only take that. And there at eight. Yeah, let, let's go. Like I said, I don't even have a unit there. That is probably pretty bad for them. Um, can't put these guys under the HQ. I'm gonna shift these airplanes away as well. And I'm actually going to, well, let's actually wait because I might need my MPPs somewhere else but this is going pretty well uh, so that does deal with mainland uh, Japan already let's see what we can do against some of the enemy naval forces we need a lot of points to reinforce these guys back to 10 let's start the arduous task now we know that the Americans have some or the leftovers of their fleet around here uh, they probably also still have something there and we're in hot pursuit now they abandoned this place so we can take the Marquesas Islands 
But then <clears throat> the Allied forces, they're pretty much just uh, multiple directions. All right, let, let's just uh, first of all just work our way from down here. Try to take uh, down the New Zealanders, which we just did. Okay. Now, let's try to... Uh, there's at least one of the enemy ships. It's raining here. It's hard to see, so I, I can only use my battleships here. And the damage will be greatly reduced, but if I'm lucky, I can take these guys down with only the battleships. I, I probably will. Okay, so there's another enemy ship. Let's use you here. That's one destroyer down, and then I'll, I'll move up here. Uh, so I I can't actually use my uh, my aircraft carriers around this particular region. I will have to send them up. And unfortunately, I can't really use them up here. That, that's pretty much the thing. Uh, what I will do, I still have this here battleship that I... Okay, let's get as close to this as possible. Yeah, two damage is, is way too little. Uh, but... Okay, we scouted another unit. These guys are not in the... Uh, in the rain, so we're dealing a lot more. I'll just have to leave these guys because there's there's no way I can actually attack that, but I will be able to use this carrier. To take down that destroyer. Fair enough. Is it raining here? It doesn't look like it. I wonder why the damage is so poor then. Is this an... Oh, it's a strategic bomber, not a naval bomber. Yeah, that, that doesn't help. For these it does, though. Medium bombers. How about raider? No difference. <laughs> okay. Uh, not having too much luck in these attacks here. But. Well, at least we're going for the battleships. Okay, I do wanna. No, that that doesn't work. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. How far can you move up? It's one, two, three. Yeah, they'll be out of striking range. I guess for now it's probably better to keep them out of contact there then and uh, not not get too close so I'll kind of have to move around uh, that territory or around these guys and, and try to get close to them without actually being spotted like that uh, how far can you bump Kind of like up till here. So I can only hope the enemy cannot see these guys then. And so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's just at least a battleship. Um, what I will do though is I'm going to actually transport these guys uh, back up here. 
because if they have such a big battle fleet, they might actually be inclined to actually go after some of this territory around here. Uh, yeah, that's quite likely. And I will just have to see indeed. Uh, so over here, now that we've taken that, I want to go for Tasmania. Again, I have no idea how many troops are down there. I think my chances of landing up in the north are a lot better than trying to land down south. Uh, the, the problem is, though, that the enemy has a lot of uh, fleet here. It seems like there's also a carrier here and potentially here, too. So I don't really feel that comfortable uh, doing stuff like that. But... What kind of port is this? Pretty bad. Question is, where did the enemy guys go? I think actually if they went from there, they, they probably must have gone east. I think I might be able to, to spot them out. It's just the territory here is just so messed up. Okay. Um, I didn't spot them. You can also still strike. I might be able to get at another one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Here. Taking it down to two. And they can no longer move, unfortunately. Okay. But I did reasonably well, and they still have uh, only two of these. And the New Orleans Heavy Cruiser. The battle fleet that's here can in no way reach all the way down here. So even if we get into a fight, it probably won't be lethal. Uh, so that's good. So we are, uh, we're dealing some critical blows to the American fleet down there. unfortunate but that deals with all of the uh, the Japanese let's get you back up to seven attach you it's uh, hard to see everything around here Karachi doesn't give supply itself huh and I'll still wait for a bit so first things first let's use you to go over there Thanks to link up. And I'll try to get more uh, more forces up down there. Then out here, we'll get closer to Benghazi. just kind of make our defensive line around here I don't know how much the Americans have but we'll uh, have to make sure that they can't reach any further I don't want to give up any of the other territory okay these guys are now toast because they're out of supply we take out a Sababa I want to move all of these uh, closer to the HQ because I want to go and take Berbera and then start moving down. Uh, first retaking uh, British Somaliland uh, or Italian East Africa. Isn't it British Somaliland? Well, I think I got my geography a little bit mixed up and then... <laughs> We're moving on to uh, Kenya and Nairobi indeed afterwards, but I want to take over this this part here first and then keep moving down. So far, so good though. I think we're doing excellent down there. Not so much here. Mm, for the Italians, I still have plenty of points to repair whatever ships I still have in harbor. 
and I might actually no getting to the Atlantic without actually having Gibraltar that's just not gonna work so I'm gonna need to do something with the Italian Navy in order to get them out and I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm gonna do I mean, I'm already moving units back. Let's just check whether they're actually in... Uh, uh, they're in uh, fighter mode, I see. Let's move them back immediately, because fighting like that is no, no use. Mm. Well... Can I actually upgrade them either? No. Okay, I'll just leave these battleships for now. And not worry much I haven't seen any other American fleets up there but uh, we'll see so we know that they have some destroyers up here and I am keen to take them down this is oh yeah okay I got I got so confused thinking that I would deal six myself but that actually looks like this this Now, I do know that they had another de American destroyer around here, too, um, which was harassing my submarines. Where is it now? Ah, there we go. So, you're thinking, I knew it was around here somewhere. Okay, that's at least a minor success, and I can scout the rest of the area for a bit to see if there's anything here. So far, nothing's visible yet. We have our entire fleet up there. I'm probably going to send them over along this line and then all the way down towards this part of the channel. I'll have to see. I'm gonna deal with the rest of the navy later. First off, I'll also repair the Graf Spree. These guys will be... They are ready for action. I deployed them this turn. Okay. So we back up to full strength, I think very close now to Murmansk, so that's great. It actually looks like the Soviets have hardly any forces left at this stage. Uh, which I think is quite interesting if you ask me. Oh, that doesn't take the territory, I have to get in there exactly. Hmm. So for now, I'll actually just go and... Can I... Yeah, they'll have a unit in there for sure, but... There's no nerd five supplies, so that that's not good enough. But I will move in the army. Let's move it back. And since I want to get through Russia as fast as possible, I'll keep a attacking. And they seem to be quite weak. I'm also gonna actually move the fighter, or at least operate them. And I will send them to an area where I might have better use for them. again which will be over at Cologne and that's also where I'll upgrade them for now though like I said before I'm kind of preparing for an enemy assault and yeah I'm 
I'm I'm feeling pretty good about Russia. If I can transport a unit over to Kalini, I'm going to send over one of these garrisons. But I will have to actually be able to send it there. And I can't yet. But I need a unit on Chula itself, so I will definitely transport that core back and then get the one from Chula. You have all of these guys under your belt. Moving back to nine. Well, since Riazan doesn't give any supply, we'll just cut off these horses. I'm a bit shot, but... Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I don't have any more MPP. Oops. I got lucky dealing any damage myself, even. They have two supplies, so they... I should be able to take them down if I just lower their entrenchments enough. At least that's what I think. Because I would like to take Saratov and then I'm going to move forward towards Kribyshev. I do have the army as well, so I, I think I'll be fine. Um, just moving forward again. Mm, that doesn't really do anything. Repairing also doesn't really help me though. They're still too entrenched, so I'll attack with the core units. They're a lot weaker. Get rid of their entrenchments and then attack with the armies. Alright, great. That means that now I can move forward with the Romanians too. <clears throat> and I'll actually send a garrison over to Stalingrad. As of yet, impossible. Let's just uh, move the HQ, especially because I cannot get the Dadan Cossacks in there. I'll actually upgrade... No, I'll repair them first, so I can put them to good use later. And meanwhile, I'll actually operate these guys back to mainland. Europe, I'll send them to Le Havre for now. That's also fine. It seems like many of these guys can actually be upgraded too, so I will do that even with anti aircraft defense. And also, these guys uh, will get that. These guys will be upgraded. Okay, they're looking pretty good. For now, and I can spare the forces in Russia. It really looks like uh, the Soviets are on the brink of defeat. Let's take a look what's here. to destroy the unit of Uriev. And then these... If I can at least, come on. Otherwise I'll have to use the tanks or this... These guys. Alright, let's just use the core. So then the tanks can move up. <clears throat> and... Yeah, use the core here first. And then keep moving. So I'll put you over here. And these guys going over there. I need to get to Perm probably even before getting to Moscow. 
But I'll, I'll see whether that's actually a possibility. Um, because I don't actually even know whether the enemy will uh, get extra reinforcements if I take Moscow first. Just like in China, they will say, oh, the, <clears throat> the survivors from Moscow will, will get to Kubyshev and then they will get a bunch of armies. And uh, I wouldn't be too interested in something like that. So I'll have to be a bit careful. I'll just uh, continue to do my thing, destroying enemy armies wherever I can. And uh, keep harassing them too. So those, those attacks are just no good. That's fine. We have the HQ there. And the army. Hmm. So, moving these forward and destroying this would cut off that army too. I do need to be able to get through this hex then though. And I... Yeah. Naturally I was a bit skeptical about that and indeed it did not work out the way I wanted it to. Lots of repairs. Destroying them with the weakened core. Now that will free up some of these units. I need to lower their entrenchments first anyway. So I'm not going to be able to attack outright, regardless. And I'm not taking Moscow yet. And definitely not this turn, anyhow. So I might be able to just destroy a bunch of units around it. And take the northern part, it's called Moscow too. <laughs> Once again, taking a look at the partisans, I will send over these, yes, and I uh, still can't get them there, that's, <clears throat> it is connected by rail network, so I'm a bit unsure. To why this is happening. Maybe because I'm too close when it comes to combat. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's a bit odd. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm, I'm not sending any units back this turn.
No, I'm not. Okay, I, I guess that's basically my turn in uh, the Soviet Union. One problem that I'm having is that I actually need to move these guys down here, but I, I probably also can't drill any units to Astrakhan. So I guess for now things are okay. I can actually switch these guys up. I will see whether I can move around more units on the next turn though. All right, that does it. For the Soviet Union this turn, Saratov also gives me a nice boost. And since we're very close to Kribyshev, yeah, I wonder if they have many units in those other cities. I'll, I'll have to see. There's nothing we can do about it for now, though. So let's continue. I've dealt with that. Maybe I can actually upgrade their anti-aircraft defenses. And unfortunately for that one that's getting harassed, I can't do that for now. But I think this should still work. Uh, yeah, th these can can hardly be called upon. Okay. Still did something. Let's go for some research, and I'll actually go for advanced insufficient funds. What? Oh, I did have the Japanese. I was already confused. Like advanced fight level three, I have level four, but okay. So I have two chits in these. Up to level five one chit in advanced fighters to get up to five heavy bombers and naval weaponry i guess i can go for naval weaponry get that up to two wouldn't be the worst don't need to spend any more chits in either of these two below there and i'm pretty much at a point so right we <clears throat> I'm a bit confused here because, okay, these guys must have just fled from the previous turn because I remember a big naval engagement there with the, uh, the allied fleet basically just coming in there. I, what I will do is I will set all of these to silent. <clears throat> And I will kind of try to put the enemy into a bit of an ambush if they want to get into the bay. And I'll just see what kind of effect that has. I don't value my submarines that highly anymore and I wouldn't mind delaying the enemy for a bit. Again, I don't have that many forces here yet, mainly because I haven't been able to ship too many forces away from Russia. Although I am planning to, to get a bunch of troops out because I think we're very close to a victory actually I, I, I thought we were doing okay before but now that I've, I've actually seen what they are doing and how they are switching things up it just doesn't seem like they have that much anymore either way that does also mean that I'm pretty much done I've taken care of the submarines these two here are still harassing I've taken care of everything around here well there will be interesting developments this turn to, to say the least Let's end the turn. And Abyssinia surrenders again. New Zealand surrenders. Mm -hmm. Japanese uh, now finally starting to kick in 507 that that's really starting to look more like it now things will definitely kick off during this turn will the Allies already try to land in Normandy just a bunch of repairs they're shipping at least a unit. <laughs> I guess 
they were able to escape there. But we'll get these forces yet. Are they moving out of Kubyshev? I, I can hardly imagine. Though I, I guess it kind of depends on how many forces they still have left. Yep, now it's only to five. So that's good. We'll take Lido and then hopefully we'll be able to get a decent front out here. Um, I'm still looking to indeed make my line out there. Okay. What will the other battleships do? They figure out the location of one of my battleships. If they're turning head and moving down, there might be a naval engagement on our hands. No contact. It's just... These guys are not going to attack my submarine, but... Hmm. <laughs> well, if they're around here, that's that's not good. Come on, evade. Please evade. No damage is also perfect. Evade, come on. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So looking well so far. Up there, I don't really care that much. Yeah, unless they have units to land there, of course. Excellent, excellent. Perfect. Yeah, they're making me so proud. That must have been my four, my uh, the German fighter down there. Why no interception the second time? I have plenty of units. Hmm. That's a bummer. But they're <laughs> destroying their own supply lines. Sure, that that's great. Just go ahead. Hmm. I think it's fair to say that these guys will be destroyed on the next turn if, if things progress like that. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a bunch of units away from here. And luckily they didn't land in Normandy yet, so I should be fine I hope ah they have a new army in there oh. well 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 what do we have here <laughs> some uh, some lost little transport ships Hmm. Where are these guys up to? A destroyer? Well, your battleships are up north. So I think this is going to turn out to become quite the allied destruction. Hmm. There they are. Alright, we have the Italians waiting for them. I'll be right outside Benghazi. I wonder what that is. Okay, they're railing a unit into Penza. Submarines. They can't go far. Okay, well. Good job. I'll let you get your uh, your little success. It's not much. <laughs> Amphibious 
transports. Oh boy. What you doing up there? Not gonna land in Norway, are you? Why would you have a landing up there? Nah, that can't be right. Australia mobilized its home defenses. So I guess they're getting free troops. And the French resistance leader Jean Moulin is arrested. Let's calculate that supply, baby. Get back on to the new turn. More tra troop transports. Heavy cruiser. Report to the High Command. The growth in resistance movements in Europe. These groups are now better equipped, more widespread, and ready to rise up against us than ever before. Ensure that from January 1944, all possible partisan locations have units protecting them. For full details, refer to the section on resistance movement in the 1939 World War Strategy Guide. Sure. I guess I will. And the Italian 12th Army. Let's deploy them up there. Then Japanese Corps. Can I deploy them too? I will keep them in uh, Tokyo. I need some uh, forces to protect the home islands. <clears throat> well, there are two battleships out here. And there are also... I, I really don't know what's going on around here. What are they doing? Damage evaded? Are you kidding me? Alright, let's just try to spot some of these guys. Hmm. Well, that's three troops down. Isn't there a destroyer somewhere? Hmm. Okay, let's let's actually move up here first and try to go after these. This was the, the full strength uh, battleship. So they must still have a weaker one. Oh, keep zooming in too far. I guess they still have that, but. on the other one just yet question is what am I gonna do with the rest uh, I'm not sure I think though that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video here because my time is up I want to thank you for watching do hope you enjoyed this part let's actually mm, let's take a look because I already know now that if I don't do this right now I will forget this. That might mean that I will not be able to destroy that battleship. Right, that's a battleship down. Great. 
sure that they still have a lot of units. I also have to go after this. Not really sure what they're thinking with that. Like, what are they trying to achieve? It's, uh... <laughs> Alright, well, I, I guess it's down, so that didn't really help them. Oh well. Either way, I want to thank you for watching, like I said before. And if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode. So, take care, and see you there. Ooh. End of the video. There we go. So take care.